stories of the day and that does include our weather so our chief meteorologist David Payne joining us yeah. now a little cool down today in bit. terms of where we've been yeah no 100s we just had just wait I know. <laughs> well, we had a couple of 100s and uh, better news coming up down the road yeah. yesterday though we had all that rain and it was really nice for some of us not everybody had the rain but we're getting a little bit of a break which is too bad from that but I think that does that it, it's going to return nice. so we're excited we about it need it uh, rain amounts. Uh, the last two days here, we'll go back about two and a half days. Uh, really, north and west metro had anywhere from a half an inch to two inches of rain. Some areas had locally three out near Watonga. So, yeah, your rain gauges range from nothing, like mine, to uh, one to two to locally two and a half to nearly three inches of rain the last two days. All right, look at eastern Oklahoma, folks. There's been some nice rains going on in the Far East. Two to three inches of rain here. And then from Oklahoma City west and southwest, Anywhere from a half to an inch to an inch and a half of rain. Nothing in the north and not much in the west. Now, uh, just north of Woodward and Fort Supply last night picked up about an inch and a half to two inches of rain right up in here. That was going on last night. So there have been pockets of, um, of good stuff going on. All right, so everything shifting south along the cool front, which is down into Texas. We have a couple of thunderstorms still left over. A little bit of lightning with that little cell there. It's almost gone. Southeast of Carnegie. Sliding to the southwest, moving through southern and southwestern Caddo County. Thunderstorm down near Ryan. Pretty gusty winds out of that, 40 to 50. That'll push across the red. And a lot of this is going to be gone the next couple of hours. This is down near the front, so we're getting showers and storms down here. A few small weak ones, not a big deal. Fort Cobb, just south of Fort Cobb. If you live in Fort Cobb, you can hear some of that thunder. That thunderstorm is just south of you here, just about two or three miles, but uh, it's moving away from you. Here in Oklahoma City, all right now, 97 degrees, 97, it's hot. Northwest wind at nine. Our humidity right now, 31%. Dew points are running in the low 60s, all right? So, eh, could be worse. All right, mid to upper 90s. A little cooler in Chandler with a 92. 96 in Weatherford. What I love about this map, there are no 100s on this map. And we had a couple earlier today. 99 in Paul's Valley, they were right at 100 about an hour ago. But right now, we are 100 degree free. So that is a good thing. Heat index, though, upper 90s and low 100s once you add that humidity. It's a northeast breeze behind the cool front. That'll be with us tonight or this evening, tonight, overnight, and into tomorrow. Then by Friday, we end up with a south wind. So the heat dome, it's just weakened. We're on the eastern side of it. It is weaker for sure. Uh, it's going to gradually get a little bit stronger. It's going to move a little bit closer to us. So we're going to get hotter as we get into early next week. And then watch the pattern change here. Looking for a big change. And we have found it. We've been talking about it since last week, this week. And uh, we really think it's going to happen. A lot of the data locking on to what we've been talking about. The heat dome goes west. We get energy in the jet stream coming out of Canada. And that's going to win out. That's going to put a dent in the heat dome. It's actually going to break it down pretty substantially. So we get in. With that, we get waves of energy, which means we get showers and thunderstorms off and on, and we get cooler weather, right? The heat dome's way here. We cool it off. We have a couple of cold fronts on the way, and it's going to be good. So a good chunk of the country from Oklahoma north and northeast will be cooler, setting up the end of next week and into the following weekend. And right now, we are in what normally is one of the hottest times of year. So there goes the dome. Here comes the jet stream. Coming out of Canada, if it were January, we'd be in the deep freeze, but it's not. But we'll bring highs in here in the 80s and better chance of rain and storms. All right, lows tonight, mid to upper 60s and low 70s. We'll have a northeast breeze. Looks good. Highs tomorrow, like today, mid 90s, northeast wind, lots of sunshine. We're dry. Highs on Friday, mid 90s, a southeast wind returns, a little hotter in the west, but uh, not out of control. No record heat. All right, this evening, uh, we'll leave the 90s here after 8 o'clock and drop into the mid to upper 80s. No chance of rain. We're looking good. Average temperatures, we come down next week. What do those temperatures look like? Below average, going to the 80s, mid 80s next week with a good chance of rain and storms. Tuesday and Wednesday bring on the end of next week. We'll be back right after this.